YouTube says it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today is the final reveal of the 30th of foot, that's the Napoleonic British Regiment in front of you, that I've been boring the pants off you by showing more or less one base at a time for as long as it's taking to paint them. Uh, I just wanted to give you one last look as I had been torturing you all uh, with one red coat after another. So just to prove that they are on the bases, um, let's see if we can get in a bit closer. There we go. Um, obviously, we've got the different centre companies denoted by their uh, red, and, red and white plumes. Obviously, the light company with its green uh, cords and plume. And then let's trundle this over to the very end. Come on, where are we? Here we are somewhere. And that's the Grenadier Company. And obviously, because the, the two flank companies, as they're called, uh, obviously have uh, wings, which are the uh, on the shoulders there, uh, the big fluffy bits uh, sticking up, uh, they're called wings, and they usually denote a, uh, a flank company, be it Grenadier or, or Light Company. And the centre companies of the British have uh, smaller tufts on their shoulders. So, yep, yeah, it's been very enjoyable. These are 28mm metal front rank miniatures. I haven't painted any red coats for a long, long time, and when I have done, I think if I'm right in believing, they were probably 18 mil anyway, or even going down to obviously my 10 mils. Uh, so they're based on 40 by 40 uh, wooden uh, MDF bases. Uh, it's only a couple of mil thick. Uh, the MDF, the rocks, and my standard cork, which are just dry brushed over. The tufts are created by me with my flop box and so are the flowers. Uh, I think that's about all I can say really. Yeah, and obviously the grass is um, again done with the, the flop box as well. Uh, the colours are GMB. Um, as we all know, they're, they're, a lot of us use those uh, GMB for colours for different time periods. Uh, and I think that's everything. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. We'll have one last um, little trundle past. I'm not going to turn them round because you've all seen them. You've all seen them, uh, you know, bit by bit as I've shown them. There are the colours flying. The regimental colour being yellow and the King's colour being the Union flag. And again, these are, they've got the Belgique Shekos on, so I mean, they can be done from anywhere from about 1812, but uh, this this regiment is, is supposedly depicting a, you know, regiment a regiment in the, the Waterloo campaign, the 100 days as it's known. Uh, I didn't go, as I've said before, I wanted to get actually get some mixed um, Chaco covers in there and that, and I would have probably made the, the uniforms, you know, a bit more campaign feel to them. But because I'd made uh, a stuff up with the ordering, I couldn't do that. So I've kept them all looking fairly, you know, uh, regimental. Everyone's got grey trousers, everybody's got uh, grey great coats, and everybody's looking fairly spanking for to say they're in a, a summertime muddy field. So guys, thanks a lot. You take care of yourselves. We'll catch each other very soon on another video. Cheers.